I'll take one marker. An Esperance farm transformed into the Western Front. The cameras are rolling on the independent feature film Before Dawn. Action! It's the second big feature for 25-year-old director Jordan Prince Wright after the award winning at The Decadent and Depraved in 2018. The Decadent and Depraved was a big project. It, you know, it was Coin WA's largest indie film and uh, that's like this big <laughs> compared to what we're doing now. This thing's huge. This is Hollywood and Esperance. The film is based on diaries kept by WA soldiers during World War One. It's really opening people's eyes as to what these Anzacs went through and really appreciating uh, the world that we live in today. And it has an impressive roll call. Muddy Trenches replace Summer Bay for Stephen Peacock, Miles Pollard and Tim Franklin, who plays a larrikin. And the way that he deals with his trauma is uh, through humour. Forming a close bond with Corporal Squeaks. The rat problem was so big, you know, he just made a friend with a rat. He's trying to make the best of the situation. There's a lot of younger names too, including Levi Miller from Pan, Peter Sullivan, Jack Flanagan, Travis Jeffrey, Jordan Delu, and Ed Oxenbold. At all these tough times, there are little moments of humour and heart, and you feel proud to be Australian when you read it, and it's a beautiful script. The importance of respectfully portraying the Anzacs isn't lost on the young actors. It hits really close to home for me because my great-grandfather fought in the same battle um, that we're depicting in this film. I go to the Anzac Memorial every year with my father, and I wear my grandfather's medals. Every tiny detail is accounted for and historically accurate. The set that they've built is just spectacular. Walking through the trenches, walking through the mud every day, even though it is hard, um, it is just so breathtaking. Even in makeup, from the small cuts to large head wounds, and the cast and crew battle on no matter the weather. No matter how hard it gets out there, we go home at the end of the day. You just go, well, it's not actually hard compared to what these men and women went through. More than 300 people are involved in the Esperance shoot over the next six weeks before the production heads to Bunbury and Kew. The film set to transport audiences to a time more than a century before it was shot. It's due to hit the screens in November 2022. Stephen Thomas, GWN 7 News.